Hello everyone! Today is a very special day, because today we release our new album with Sabaton, The War to End All Wars. And since we're releasing a bunch of new music today with Sabaton, I thought we could do something special here on YouTube today. But before we do that, I just want to give a big shout out to all my members here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for supporting me. Now, today I want to talk to you about something that is very, very dear to my heart. It's a Swedish dish called palt. Unfortunately, there's no English word for it, so it's palt. 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 Pilt. Palt. Either way, it's pronounced palt in Swedish. And palt is basically potatoes, flour, salt, some pork, lingonberry jam, butter with a big glass of milk. This is a very typical dish from the north of Sweden and today I will actually show you how it's done so you can do it yourself and try it out. The story of palt goes a long way back in the Swedish history. The first documentation of the word palt was found in the early 1600s where it was being said that people working in the woods would bring palt with them as food. Because it was long lasting food that worked fine to eat both warm and cold. And it would also keep the woodsmen from being hungry when they were away for several days. Now, how do you make palt? Well, first you need about 1 kilo of potatoes. Peel the potatoes. Now shred the potatoes. If you have a fancy machine like this, that works too. Now, get rid of as much water as you can. A little bit of water left won't hurt, but too much water means that you have to compensate with flour, and then it will just taste flour. Mix the flour with the shredded potatoes, about 3 to 400 grams to start with, or cover the potato shred with flour and work your way from there. Add some salt as well, but just a tiny bit. Mix it with a wooden spoon or your hands until you have a solid but muddy dough. Boil some water in a big pot, make tiny balls with your hands, then place some pork or shredded bacon in the middle and gently bring them down into the boiling water and leave them there for about 20 to 30 minutes. When they start floating, you're almost done. Just give them about 5 to 10 minutes after they start floating and then you're done. How do you eat palt? What you need to really enjoy the Swedish palt is as following. Butter, milk, lingonberry jam, if you want to, but it's not mandatory. Place a palt on the plate, cut it in pieces or in half, and place some butter in the middle so the butter melts and becomes this glorious sauce of epicness that you dip your palt in. Add some jam to it if you want and just enjoy it with a big glass of milk. Another glorious thing about palt is that when you want to eat this the day after, instead of boiling it again or heat it up in a microwave, you can fry it with some butter and it will taste just majestic. Fried palt works great as a luxury lunch at work for example. Just remember to bring some butter. So if you at home made this palt happen, please let me know. I would love to hear the word palt being spread all over the world. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, listen to the new Sabaton album The War to End All Wars, released today. Thanks for watching, take care and have a great Friday. Bye! Or as we say in Sweden, hej då. Här blir det nog bra det där skit.